based on a true story following King George VI before he becomes king. Albert, King George VI, struggles with a stammer, and this film highlights the struggles he encounters while dealing with the stammer. While showing his tribulations, this film shows the importance of speech in England. In the past, all a king had to do was look respectable in uniform and not fall off his horse. Now we must invade people's homes and ingratiate ourselves with them. This family has been reduced to those lowest basis of all creatures. We've become actors. We're not a family, we're a firm. His father questions what being king has even become. Are they someone of high esteem, or are they someone that caters to the nation's needs? While speech is important in England, it also has a strong effect on England. Albert is forced into kingship when his father dies and his brother David's controversial marriage leads to his quick abdication. This happens while England is on the brink of war with Germany. I'm not a king. <laughs> I'm a naval officer, that's all I know. <laughs> speech affects society because the nation is looking to Albert to guide them with his words when he can hardly speak himself. The nation believes that when I, I speak, I speak for them, but I can't speak. To aid him in being able to speak, Albert attends sessions with Lionel Loeb. Lionel tries very hard to get to the root of Albert's stammer. He first gives up on Lionel after the first session until he hears himself speak without a stammer. To be or not to be, that is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against the sea of troubles and by opposing end them. To die, to sleep, no more. And by a sleep to say we end, the heartache and the thousand natural shocks, the flesh is at It is a consummation. Lionel constantly brings up David in, the, in their sessions. Through this, the movie highlights how speech affects the individual. Lionel suggests that Albert's stammer is connected to his past with his family. Did David ever tease you? Oh yes, they all did. Yearning for a larger audience, are we? B -b 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 Why do you stammer so much more with David than you ever do with me? Because you're bloody well paid to listen. Bertie, I'm not a geisha girl. Stop trying to be so bloody clever. What is it about David that stops you speaking? What is it about you that bloody well makes you want to go on about it the whole bloody time? Vulgar but fluent. You don't stammer when you swear. No, bugger off. Is that the best you can do? Well, bloody bugger to you, you beastly bastard. Oh, what public school prig could do better than that? Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Shit, 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 yes, shit. Defecation flows trippingly from the top. Do you know the F word? Fornication? Alberti. Oh, fuck. Fuck! 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 Fucking fuck! Fuck! Fucking bugger! 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 Buggity! 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 Fuck! Fuck! Arse! Oh, yes. Balls! Balls! Fucking you see, shit! Not a shit, hesitation. Fucking willy! Willy! Shit and fuck and tits. Your place may well be on the throne. I'm not an alternative to my brother. You can outshine David. But don't take liberties! David has made Albert lose faith in his voice, and through that, he has lost faith in himself. It makes us question if Albert believes his voice has significance because of the teasing and torment that David has put him through. Lionel tries hard to motivate Albert and digs down to the root of his problem. You don't need to be afraid of the things you were afraid of when you were five. You're very much your own man, person. It isn't until Lionel pushes him to the edge that Albert begins to stand on his own ground. What are you doing? Get up! You can't sit there! Get up! Why not? It's a chair. No, it, that is not a chair! That is... That is... That is St. Edward's chair! People have carved their names on it. chair is the seat on which every king is held and queen... by a large rock. That is the stone of scorn. You are, are trivializing are you everything. You I don't care the, how many royal assholes have sat Listen to me! Listen to me! Listen to you by what right? By divine right, if you must. I'm your king! No, you're not. You told me so yourself. You said you didn't want it. Why should I waste my time listening to Because you? I have a right to be oh, a I have a voice! Yes, you do. The King's Speech illuminates how important speech is to a society, how it affects the individual. Albert becomes a symbol of resistance through his speeches and overcomes his stammer.
through Lionel, Albert finds his voice and uses it while throughout the rest of his kingship.